Hello everyone, me again with another video. Uh, I'm doing questions white men have for SJWs. I know this was uh, uploaded a long time ago. Well, not a very long time ago, but long enough. Uh, but I've got nothing better to do, so I guess better late than never. Um, I'm going to let you know I'm not going to do all the questions because after, like, pretty much a little bit past the minute point, it just ceases to be even pretending to be actual questions and just jabs, really, and it's very childish, and I don't see any point in actually continue it, continuing it past that point. So without further ado, uh, here we go. Why do you claim to speak for LGBT people, women, and ethnic minorities, but when LGBT people, women, and ethnic minorities disagree with you, you harass them? What are you even talking about? I know straw men are the neo-atheist's best friend, but come on, you're not even trying with this one. Do you realize that your war on language through political correctness has made you bedfellows with true rape culture? In other words, Islam, the world's most misogynistic ideology. Oh wow, not wasting any time with the racism, are we? One, you have some massive misconceptions of Islam if you honestly think it's the world's most misogynistic ideology. If anything, that's the rabid neo-atheism after y'all realize that you need to go after feminists to stay relevant. Two, fuck off of that true rape culture shit. Why don't you go join UKIP or the BMP while you're spouting this nonsense? Do you want women to be equal or do you want women to be a protected class? You can't have both. If you expect society to treat women as equal with men, why don't women have to take responsibility for their own safety? Quote unquote SJWs do say women need to protect themselves from rapists. However, the responsibility shouldn't totally be on them to do so because there is very little they can really do in a society that programs men to view them as weak and for nothing more than to play out sick power fantasies. At the end of the day, your they need to protect themselves is the only way you can say it was her fault. What are you afraid will happen when you leave your safe space? What are we afraid of? Pulse, Brock Turner, Darren Wilson, the one in 12 murder rate of trans people, that is what we are afraid of, and the fact that you refuse to see that that is the reason safe spaces exist shows you how blind your privilege has made you. How can you possibly justify the idea that it's somehow racist to disagree with Black Lives Matter, and yet it's not racist when a black person tweets something like, kill all white people? Boo fucking who? Cry me a river, honky. It's racist to disagree with BLM as you do because if you disagree with them like you do, then you say black people are not systemically oppressed, which is racist. And the reason it's not racist for a black person to tweet hash, hashtag kill all white people is because racism is systemic, is systemic. White people are at the top of that system and cannot be the victim of it. Also, I th think it's really funny how you cry racism when, some per when a black person puts out a mean tweet about white people, but you don't cry racism over the systemic murder of black people. Funny how that one works. Here's a question. Are you aware that the present is not the past? I'm not kidding. Are you familiar with the concept of linear time? Because you seem incredibly comfortable traveling back through time to talk about how bad things were for women, or black people, or whoever. And then by using some form of SJW magic, you then claim or imply that those problems in the past exist today. Are you aware that this trick that you're doing is not working? Why do you think that would work? Are you aware that centuries of systemic oppression don't just go away like that? That shit affects culture in a major fucking way. Are you aware that shit that happened in the past, gets this, affects the present? After that question, I feel no real reason to continue this, as it's quite clearly just devolving into your stupid territory. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you and goodbye.